Mike. Thank you very much, Kenny Crumpton. It is time now for the Fox Recipe Box. Bet's Restaurant is part of uh, Cleveland's historic Kempton Schofield Hotel. And this week, they are celebrating their first birthday with a big time party. And this morning, executive chef Timothy Welch is with us. Uh, he has a recipe for what he is calling his AM Power Bowl. Good morning. Welcome to Fox 8 News in the morning, my friend. Very nice to be here. Kenny's been with you before. Yes, yeah. But uh, this first time in the there. studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, you, you're right up my alley. You're talking about a, a power yeah, bowl for yeah. the morning. Yeah, a great start to the day. We're okay. going to show you how to prep it. It's super easy. All right. Uh, you can hold it throughout the week and uh, refire it in a pan and okay. eat it every day if you'd like, and uh, it'll hold for five days, if not seven days. Let's get to work. That's up to you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, here we have uh, our uh, mushroom blend. We got uh, golden chanterelles. Okay. We got portobello mushrooms, carminis. Okay. We're going to season that with our, uh, we got a really healthy oil here. It's uh, grape seed and avocado oil. Oh, it's man. healthy for the heart. Okay. Uh, we're going to season that well. Uh, we're going to put a little salt and pepper on there. And we're going to give it a toss. Okay. All right. And we have a sprayed baking sheet here. Then we're going to roast these vegetables in the oven, give them some nice color, okay. you know? Okay. So right onto the sheet tray here. Make sure you season them well. Mm. Uh, uh, you know, mushrooms. Mushrooms. Put those there. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna put that in the oven okay. on 350 for okay. 10 to 15 minutes and give it some nice color. And that's gonna be our veggies in okay. our uh, in our power bowl here. Okay. So next we're going to uh, prep the quinoa. So. Uh, a good rule of thumb before you cook quinoa is uh, rinse it very well. Okay. Uh, if you don't rinse quinoa, it can become very gummy when you cook it. Right, and that's so, what you don't uh, yeah. Here I have uh, two cups of raw tricolored quinoa. Okay. And uh, I'm going to boil it in our house-made veggie stock. We make this in-house at uh, Betts, mm -hmm. and uh, it's very flavorful. Talk about, talk about the hours at Betts, man. Uh, <laughs> It's been crazy lately. Uh, yeah. We broke uh, record sales in okay. the last couple of weeks. Okay. And, uh, our staff's phenomenal you there. You guys open for what, what lunch and dinner or lunch, breakfast, lunch and dinner? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Really? So we're, okay. we're connected to a hotel. So, we're, so you open all the time. Yeah, Talk all the time. Talk about that hotel, man. My goodness. Uh, it's a beautiful hotel. Yeah, uh, yeah go ahead and do 100, 120 rooms. Okay. Uh, you know, we're open uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. And, uh, I want to give a shout out to the staff there. Yeah, uh, we've, yeah. we've, we've done a great job and okay. everybody's doing a great job. And okay. So yeah. I'm going to boil this quinoa right. on, uh, for eight to 10 minutes. Oh, my. Okay. On high heat. So, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Eight to ten minutes on high mm -hmm. heat. Okay. Then what's next? So uh, as our vegetables are roasting, yes. I'm going to prep our. Uh, I'm going to get our over easy egg going. So you okay. can add an egg to any style egg you want to this okay. bowl. So okay. we see a lot of over easy. So that's what we're going to do. So All we're right. going to take our oil. Okay. We're going to put it in our hot pan over here. Okay. We got it nice and warm, about medium to medium high heat. Okay. And we're going to cook our over easy egg. Okay. So this this takes some doing. I mean, if you want to oh, do yeah. this at home, it's gonna it's, you you got to. Really oh yeah, to break it with the one hand, right? Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Now so. let, let's talk about this this big birthday celebration, man. Yeah. So we're uh, we're promoting it on Friday. Friday okay. is our one year uh, birthday. Okay. Uh, we're having uh, one dollar champagne, one dollar okay. Jello shots, one dollar birthday cake shots, wow. and we're discounting our Schofield burger from. Uh, $15 to $10. All right. so it's well, that, be a, that must be one heck of a burger. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a great celebration. Okay. We're, we're really excited about it. Okay. Now, what's the next step? Or so I've seasoned my egg with a little salt and pepper. Okay. You know, it's it's very key to season everything properly, especially when you're you know doing cooking with like this with grains and right. vegetables. Right. So. Now there's a lot going on here. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to give a, a flip to my egg and okay. turn the heat off. Okay. All right. Okay. So we'll turn that off and that'll be ready to plate there. Okay. So uh, as the quinoa is done here, we got it all. It's almost completely done. Um, our vegetables are almost done. Mm -hmm. We're going to start combining this into a pan. So put it together. Come all on. of our all of our ingredients are prepped okay. and ready to go. So all, right. all we do is heat it up in a pan. So okay. gonna, now, what is what is this here? You, so that's going to be our garnish, Kenny. Oh, okay. Or, um, wait, Wayne. sorry. Right. That's okay. Uh, we got uh, pumpkin seeds. Okay. Uh, they call them pepitas, and okay. uh, our house made honey granola. All right. So. Nice. Uh, we're going to combine this into uh, a pan with veggie stock, and we're going to cook it down. So, wow! Here we go. Now, is this on the menu? Yes, it is. We sell a lot of these. Okay. This is a very, very popular okay. item. So we're going to put a, about two and a half cups of quinoa in here. All right. Our vegetables should be almost done there. Okay. See here. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I beautiful, like it. beautiful. Okay. And then we're gonna put about a handful of red peppers. Okay. Roasted we got about peppers. a minute to go. Can you? Can you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Can we get it done? Absolutely. And then we're gonna add baby spinach too, for a little greens in there, huh? That looks good, man. Yeah, absolutely. That's but absolutely. Good eating right there. Yeah. And good healthy eating. So we all got right. a lot of flavor in there with our veggie stock. We seasoned everything very well. And we're going to put it all together. Put it together. I want to yeah. taste it. I want to taste it before we go. Here we go. All right. Give that a little toss. That's that, all nice and hot. Yeah. yeah. We're going to put it in uh, our nice bowl here. And that's it, right? Yeah. Well, we're going to garnish it with uh, our egg, okay. our avocado, our fresh okay. avocado. Oh, man, I'm gonna... that is. That's a, that's a power bowl. Yeah, right absolutely. There. Man, so, so you put the egg in after that or what? Uh, so I'm gonna do a fresh avocado here. Okay. So you split your avocado down the middle, run your knife around, right? Okay. okay. And don't be a sushi chef here, just pop it out. Just pop you don't it have out. to slam your knife into <laughs> right, the avocado, right. right? So we pop our, uh, our pit out there. Okay. We're gonna cut it in half, and we're gonna take a spoon and pull out the rest. Okay. All right, because we're kind of running out of time, so we wanna get, you, get it together real quick. So there's a fresh avocado. Okay. Here's the egg. We're gonna do our, uh, our over easy egg. Okay. And we're going to garnish with our pumpkin seed granola. Wow. Right over top. Mm, all right. It looks good, Tim. All right, man. Appreciate it. All right, the first birthday party this Friday, and you got a lot of uh, special drinks and yeah. all food and all everything. Yeah. It's just a congratulations. One year, it. man. Come out and see us, guys. I can't, I can't wait to taste this. Yeah, absolutely. Let me get a spoon and see what it tastes like. Just kind of just dive into it. Yeah, right? yeah. Just break the egg yolk over there and go for it. Yeah. All right, Fox 8 News in the morning continues. We'll have this, the recipe on our website as well. Let's see what this tastes like.